We've had two coronal holes that have been passing through the Earth's strike zone, causing some fast wind to give us aurora all over the world, and the sun is even giving us a few little mini eruptions that is adding to the storming. Those stories and more in the news this week. Solar activity is really picking up this week. We just had one coronal hole that passed through the Earth strike zone. The second larger hole is in the Earth strike zone right now, and it's littered with all these bright active regions on the edge of it. And one of them in particular has been firing off these little mini eruptions, and it's adding to the fray, and it's bumped us up to storm levels. We're currently experiencing storm levels now, and this could continue on in potentially through Saturday. Switching to your M flare threat meter, you can see back on the 25th is when we started seeing a lot of these B class flares. This is due to those active regions that are around that corona hole and they keep firing off these little mini solar storms. And the flaring continued. Actually, on almost the 29th, we actually had a C class flare. It didn't really erupt anything, but it was a nice little kind of reminder that uh, the sun isn't quite gone to sleep yet. Now, this shouldn't be causing much more than just some noise for you amateur radio operators and uh, GPS operators, but this kind of thing will continue probably in, through the next three or four days until these uh, regions rotate out of Earth view. Switching to your solar storm conditions, you can see back on the 26th we got hit by the fast wind from that first coronal hole. It bumped us up to active levels, but it didn't really last all that long. Then we quieted back down, and then on the 31st we got hit by the, the beginnings of that second coronal hole that's now rotated into the Earth strike zone. And along with some little mini eruptions that we've been seeing, it now bumped us up to solar storm levels. So we should be continuing this kind of uh, disturbance probably for the next two or three days. So what else does the sun have in store for us this week? Well, this is Stereo A. It's our backside monitor. You can see here's Earth, here's the sun, and here's Stereo A staring at the sun from behind. And what you can immediately see is the whole western part of the sun on the backside is pretty quiet. We do have a coronal hole that is rotating kind of into the middle of the sun's backside right now, and that means it'll rotate Earth's side and get ready to be in the Earth strike zone in about two weeks. But prior to that, everything's going to be pretty quiet once this solar storm that we're in right now settles down. Switching to your solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the coming week, we are in the middle of this high-speed wind that's coming from this coronal hole that's rotated into the Earth's strike zone. At high latitudes, NOAA's anticipating of minor storm conditions with even a possibility of a major storm, and that'll be over the next three days. At mid-latitudes, we're only expecting active conditions, and we've already bumped up over that. We've got about a 25% chance of minor storm, but these are conditions that were without these little mini eruptions, so NOAA has kind of under and anticipated the effects of this particular storm. So most likely things are going to continue to be minor storm level possibly through the next couple days, even at mid-latitudes. So you amateur radio operators, you're just going to have to deal with it and kind of roll with the punches for the next couple days, maybe even in through the weekend. Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the coming week, we are still in the green when it comes to M-class flares. We've been popping off a few B-class flares here and there because there's a few active regions that are busy, but they're not going to get us to the M-class flare level. So you amateur radio operators, you, you might be hearing some noise, you GPS operators may have a few glitches here and there, but it really should be nothing substantial. Outside of that, we do have uh, marginal levels for solar flux, and that's going to continue to stay that way. And in fact, in a couple days, it may even start declining as some of these active regions rotate off of the Earth-facing disk. So we'll just have to continue as we move closer to solar minimum. So the space weather this week has really picked up. We're in the middle of a solar storm due to the fast wind from that corona hole that's rotated into the Earth strike zone, and aurora is in full force. So you aurora photographers, enjoy the show and snap up as many pics as you can. And as far as you amateur radio operators and you GPS operators are concerned, it's going to be an issue, probably for the next couple days at least. And if the, the sun keeps firing off these mini solar storms, it could even last in through the weekend. So I've seen reports of issues issues on the 30 meter band and below, especially on the night side, so you're just going to have to deal with it until things begin to quiet down. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.